A very good evening and welcome to the segment Quick 10. My name is Asim Khan. Let's have a look at today's top stories. The Enforcement Directorate arrested NCP leader and Maharashtra Minister Nawab Malik after probing him in connection with a money laundering case linked to the fugitive gangster Dawid Ibrahim and his aides. After the arrest, Malik said, we will fight and win. We won't bow down. The Karnataka High Court clarified that the temporary ban on religious attires such as the hijab and saffron scarves in schools and colleges of Karnataka applies only to students and not teachers. The Supreme Court today rejected a plea seeking cancellation of offline exams for class 10th and 12th to be conducted by the all state boards, CBSC, ICSC and National Institute of Open Schooling. The Supreme Court on Tuesday said that giving free gifts to the doctors by pharmaceutical companies to promote the sale of drugs is expressly prohibited by law. The government told the Supreme Court today that an amount of 18,000 crore has been returned to banks from Vijay Malia, Nirav Modi and Mehul Choksi. The total proceeds of crimes in prevention of money laundering act cases pending before Supreme Court amounts to 67,000 crores. The External Affairs Minister S.J. Shankar has said that India is engaged in talks with China on the eastern Ladakh border. Stand up with absolute clarity that it will not agree to any change in the state quo or any attempt to unilaterally alter the line of actual control in the region. Pakistani Prime Minister Imran Khan said that he would like to have a televised debate with his Indian counterpart Narendra Modi to resolve differences between the two neighbours. Today, Ukraine's Security Council approved plans to declare a state of national emergency in response to the growing threat of Russian invasion. China accused the United States of raising tensions and creating panic over the Ukraine crisis. Shortly after, Washington announced sanctions against Moscow and said it would continue to supply weapons to Ukraine against a Russian invasion. Cyclone Emnati crashed into the southeastern coast of Madagascar in the early hours today, ripping roofs off houses and raising fears of flooding and food shortages. Well, this is all we have for today. Keep watching BBN News Channel. Goodbye.